Hey guys, it's story time with Grandma, and this is our next book. It's called Ducky Duck Doesn't Want to Be a Duck. It's by Jenny Loveless, illustrated by Dennis Prue. Okay, here we go. Grandma's going to start reading. Don't mind me. I'm in my pajamas. I'm all ready for bed, and now maybe you, this story's going to make Grandma tired too. Ducky Duck loved watching the little bunnies play. Every day while his family searched for breadcrumbs, he would sit and watch the bunnies. He watched them hide in bushes, chase one another around, and roll in the grass. Ducky wanted to be a duck too. Here's his picture with his friends, the bunnies. One day, Ducky Duck made a decision. He waded over to his mama and said, Mama, I want to be a bunny. Okay, Ducky, his mama replied. You go be a bunny, but make sure to come home before dark. Okay, mama. So Ducky went to be a bunny. I wonder if that meant he's going to use his imagination to be a bunny, or if he's going to actually try to be a bunny. Here's the photo. Here's the picture. Look at that. He's telling his mama what he's going to go do. That's a smart duck. If Ducky were going to be a bunny, he would have to look like one too. So Ducky found two long skinny leaves and he made his very own set of bunny ears out of them. He tied them to his head and went to find his friend, Benny Bunny. Look at this silly bunny. He has leaves for ears. That's so cute. Isn't that so cute? Ducky found Benny in a bush. Hi, Benny. What are you playing? Hi, Ducky, Benny whispered. We're playing hide and go seek. Ducky got so excited that he let out a big quack. Can you say quack? Shh, Benny said. You have to be quiet, Ducky, or they'll find me. Then Benny saw the set of leaves hanging from Ducky's head and asked, What's on your head? Look at how silly he thinks his friend is. He's hiding in the bushes right there, and then he sees Ducky with his silly little ears on. These are my bunny ears, Ducky proudly answered. I'm a bunny now too, Benny. Can I play hide and go seek with you? Sure, Ducky, but you have to be really quiet, okay? Okay, Ducky whispered. Can you whisper? Can you whisper? Pretend to whisper to Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Can you say hi, Grandma? Ducky played lots of games of hide-and-go-seek with Benny and the other bunnies. One game he hid behind a tree, but they found him when his bill stuck out. Then he tried hiding under a bush like Benny, but his long neck stuck out the top. Ducky even tried hiding behind a rock, but all he could do was lay down next to the rock and hide his head behind it. Ducky was found quickly every single time. Here, let's look at those pictures. So here he's looking. Here he is. Oops. Let's go back, Mama, Grandma. So here, here he is. May, let me go and make it bigger. And you can still see him behind the tree because there's his duck bill and there's his little tail. Okay. Here he is hiding inside the bush, but his head pokes out the bush top and his feet push out, poke out the bottom. Uh-oh, here he is trying to hide behind the rock, but you can still see his belly, and you can still tickle his feet. Silly ducky. Okay, Grandma's making that smaller now. When Ducky got home, 
His mama and the rest of the ducks were about to go to sleep in the pond. After they got in, Ducky followed behind them and put one foot in the water. No, no, Ducky, his mama said. I thought you were a bunny. I am a bunny, mama. Sorry, Ducky. Bunnies don't swim. You'll have to stay here. Ducky put his head down and pulled his foot from the water. He sat on the shore and watched his family. So here they are. They're going into the pond, and that's his mommy explaining to him that he's a bunny, not a ducky. And so then they all stay in the pond. So he watched his family swim. Ducky was happy his mama didn't go far, but he still didn't want to sw he still wanted to swim in the pond too. When the sun came up in the morning, Ducky's mama came back to shore. She gave Ducky a kiss and said, How's my favorite bunny this morning? Mama, I don't want to be a bunny anymore. Oh, Mama said, Are you a duck again? No, I want to be a beaver. Beavers have a lot of fun, so now I'm going to go be a beaver. Mama smiled, Okay, Ducky, go be a beaver, but make sure you come home before dark. Okay, Mama. So Ducky went to be a beaver. Here's his mama and him talking about now he's going to go try to be a beaver. Okay? If Ducky were going to be a beaver, he would have to look like one too. So he found a branch from a pine tree and made his very own beaver tail out of it. Then Ducky went to find his friend. Beaver, it's beaver. Man, I'm starting to yawn again. Every time I read a book with you guys, I get so sleepy. Are you getting sleepy? This is him. He made his beaver tail, and now he's making it go flap, 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 flap. That's why it makes those little lines on there. He's going wiggle, 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 wiggle. Ducky found Beavis in the river. He waddled over to the side of the river with his new tail in pursuit and said, Hi, Beavis. Hi, Ducky, Beavis replied. Boy, am I glad to see you. Beavis climbed out of the water and began rolling a log into the river. Where are you going, Beavis? Ducky asked. The water isn't deep enough, so I'm building a dam to make it deeper. Want to help me? Ducky was overjoyed that he would get to do real work. Real beaver stuff, like build a dam. Yeah, Beavis, that sounds fun, Ducky exclaimed. Ducky started toward the river, but Beavis stopped him. Wait, Ducky, you have something stuck in your tail. No, Beavis, Ducky laughed. This is my tail. I'm a beaver now, too. Oh, okay, said Beavis. Just don't let your new tail get in the way. Building a dam is hard work. So here's him and his friend... Beavis, and they're going to start building a dam. So he comes over and he's talking to him and he's telling him, I'm a, I'm a, a beaver now. And he, then Beavis says, okay, then let's go build a dam. Beavis was right. Building a dam was hard work. It took all day for Beavis and Ducky to build the dam. Well, it too all day for Beavis to build the dam. Ducky tried to help, but every time he tried to push a log into the water, it rolled away in the wrong direction. Every time he found sticks, they would fall out of his grip and he would have to pick them up again. Ducky also tried helping Beavis in the river, but he had a hard time balancing with his new tail and he just kept tipping over in the water. After a really hard day, Ducky went home. Here's his picture of him trying to trying to be a trying to be a beaver. Look at that. So he tries to put the log in the water, but it just rolls away. And then he tries to put more twigs in, but they just they just float float away. So he's not having very much luck. When Ducky got home, it was dinner time. 
Ducky got in the water with his family, but this time he stayed where he could touch the ground. All the ducks began bobbing their head in the pond in search for fish. Uh Uh-oh, here's a cattail. Ducky caught a nice big one. He was about to gulp it down when his mama said, Ducky, I thought you were a beaver. I am a beaver, mama. Ducky, beavers don't eat fish. Oh, Ducky said, letting the fish go. He pulled himself out of the water and began searching for breadcrumbs. Being a beaver was definitely not as fun as Ducky thought it would be. Let's look at his friends. Okay, so here he is catching fish with his brothers and sisters. And then that's his mom saying, You're not, you can't eat a fish because you are a beaver. And so he has to leave. That makes him sad, I think. There is a cattail. That night... Ducky thought long and hard about being a beaver. When his mama came to him in the morning, she asked him, How's my favorite beaver this morning? Mama, I don't want to be a beaver anymore. Oh, Mama replied, Are you a duck again? No, I want to be a deer. Deer have a lot of fun, so now I'm going to go be a deer.